Now it's time to go through book number two of Butterfly and Friends Math series. Uh, in this book, there are some new concepts that we are introducing to children of pre-year two. And some concepts are a review of the concepts which were introduced in pre-year one. So we will be talking about the new concepts, some of the activities that we need to do in order to introduce the newer concepts. Uh, one of the new concepts which comes in this book is on page number six, which is the concept of few and many. And like we have discussed previously, we will be uh, showing the real material first. And once the real material is done, then we will go to whiteboard or the uh, softboard with the display. And the third, at the th on the third stage, we will be doing the workbook. So how we do it through real material, let me show it to you. We can take two baskets, right? And they both have some matchsticks. Children, what do you see in these baskets? Look, what do you see in these baskets? Both of these baskets have good, very good matchsticks. Matchsticks. But look more carefully. This basket has many matchsticks. And this basket has few matchsticks. Many, few, many, few. Very good. Now you tell me which basket has many matchsticks. This basket? No. Then this basket? Yes. Very good. This basket has many matchsticks. Okay. This which basket has few matchsticks? Few. This basket has few matchsticks? No. Good, yes, very good. This basket has few matchsticks. This basket has few matchsticks. Very good. Once you have introduced uh, through real material, and by the way, you can use many different things. You can use stones. You can use uh, uh, caps. You can use uh, pencils, crayons. You can uh, use paper clips, paper pens. You can use many different materials, keeping them in different types of jars. You can use a basket. You can use a jar. You can use many different containers to show this concept of few and many. But make sure that you have two containers, two things in your hand. Uh, one should have few things, the other should have many things and the material substance cheese dono mein ek hi ho dono mein stones ho to ek mein stone hai to dusre mein bhi stone ho ek mein uh, matchsticks hai to dusre mein bhi matchsticks ho now once you are done with these uh, practical activities and you have shown children some display on the softboard of few and many and on the blackboard you have drawn some baskets and few fruits many fruits like this then you ask children to go to this page and they do this page here once again you show them these are few bees and here you have many bees few bees many bees now we, where do you have Many bees. Are these many bees? No. Very good. These are many bees. And where you have few bees. Are these few? No. Very good. These are few. 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 Many. 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 Okay, children, you are going to do this page. And on this page, you have to do two things. But before you do that, we are going to write the date. So this is how you're going to explain this page to children. Now, here we have another new concept given in the book, which is long and short, long and short. Now, for this, you can easily use a string, a rope, and a scale, a pipe, a rope, uh, uh, and of course there are many different ropes like fish strings. 
So there are many, many different things that you can show to children and say, this is long and this is short. Long, short. So you can hold the two ropes in your hand and show children this is long and this is short. So this way you can use many, many different materials to give children a practical exposure of long and short. Right? Once you have done that, then you can draw on the board a long snake and a short snake, a long rope and a short rope, a long pipe and a short pipe. Once that concept is given, then you go to the book and you say, look children, look on this page. This is a snake and so is this. They are both snakes, but this snake is long long and this snake is short short long short long short so in this way you do the same activity once again okay which one is long is this long no this one is short is this one long yes very good this one is long the next concept which is uh, new to this book is the concept of uh, addition through rhymes addition through rhymes so this concept adding one number at a time one number at a time you are going to sing this poem to children and that will give them the concept of addition of one number adding one number to make the next digit adding one number to make the next digit, एक number add करके next digit बनाने का concept बच्चों को यहां introduce हो रहा है, जिससे addition का concept जो है, पहली दफा build हो रहा है. So the poem is which you are going to sing with children.